Right, where do I want to start? Hey guys, it's Eric. I'm back with another unboxing. This one's gonna be a little bit quicker. I got this box this week from Lego of something that I ordered and I wanna use it to kind of introduce something that's gonna be coming up in the month of December. So let's go ahead and open it up here. If you know anything about Lego, they ship in these nice um, unlabeled boxes. That way you don't have to be worried about people wanting to steal them off your porch. It's one of the things they'll actually have an inscription on the inside of the box for that, which I think is nice. And yeah, it says right here. Why does Lego ship in plain boxes? All right, so we got some packing stuff and that. Let's go over the bonus item real quick. So right now, I think that they're still available. If you spend $35 at lego.com, then you get a exclusive minifig. So this one's from Solo. They have a set of these, I think this is the fourth one. I think there's a fifth one out now too. Barnes & Noble seems to have one this weekend. But that was part of why I waited to get this set I wanted to have all of these. I do have them all as of current, except for the Barnes Noble one, because I wasn't expecting that one. But I think you have to spend $50 at Barnes Noble, and I don't really need to spend more money on Lego right now. The item in the box is this year's Star Wars Lego Advent Calendar. So Lego does a bunch of Advent calendars, and this is the Star Wars themed one. I think there's a city, there's a, um, the girls one, I forgot what it's called. Each year they do this and there are 24 mini figs or mini builds inside of this. And so there's one for each day of December, December 1st to the 24th. And you can see they give you a couple, they tell you one on the side and they give you an idea. If you look at the box art, you will know who's going to be in this set and what's gonna be in this set. But it's pretty cool. I like these. I think they're a fun way to count down to Christmas. Advent calendars here in the States aren't as big of a deal as they seem to be over in like the UK. This is a fun thing. I've done this with a friend the past few years where we both have it and we open them up. This year, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open them up uh, and post them to my Instagram story each day. So if you want to know what's inside each day, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I will build them and put all that up on there so you can see. But here's a little peek at what it looks like inside. There are these tabs and you open them up and inside is some instructions, which some of the best parts about this is that the instructions are not very detailed, not like you would get in a normal Lego set. So there is a little bit more creativity and some more imagination you have to use to piece them together. I've never not been able to figure them out, but it is like, here's three steps to build this 15 brick thing. So how do you do it? it does look like we're getting a snowman with a rebel hat on it. Looks like Rose is probably in it this year. Luke Speeder appears to be. There's an AT-AT, TIE Fighter. The Nubian fighter. Um, let's see what else we got here. An Uncar plot um, minion guy. A droid. It looks like we're also getting some Freemakers because that looks like Rowan Freemaker from the Lego Freemaker Adventures cartoon. When you open this up, and I will go ahead and open this part up now. But we're not gonna open up any sets. So this is taped. You can find these at different retailers. I think Walmart's had them out for a little while. Target will usually get them. They do sell out pretty quickly though. So if you do want them, which these are great things for kids, don't wait too long because they will disappear and you won't be able to get them. So inside here you see you kind of get a diorama. So you can have a little set to set it up on. You can see there some details. And then there's the 24 different things. So that is it for this. Be sure to subscribe on Instagram and Twitter. I will post each day in December my build of each of these. I'll try and do each one each day. Sometimes I fall behind just because of traveling and stuff like that, but I'm usually home most of December. But yeah, let me know. Are you getting a Lego advent calendar? Have you ever gotten one before? What's your favorite? Have you done one of these? What's your favorite build from one of these sets? All right, that's it for this time, guys. I hope you have a great day and I will see you real soon.